Hey, what's up, Diamonds? It's your boy, Christopher Dockery, your favorite relationship and life coach out here one more again, telling you what your father didn't tell you and your mother did not know. Let's get into it. Hey, many of you have given everything you had into these relationships, okay? And the reality is you had really nothing to show for it other than heartbreak, disappointment, okay? And you did this with, with the hope that things really would change. You know, I mean, you, you just didn't keep giving because you just wanted to see your heart break. You thought things would change. And maybe he actually promised you that things were going to be better. OK. And you had mistaken his crying <laughs> and his bleeding. I promise. <laughs> you thought that there was some sincerity in that. So guess what? You gave him another chance and another chance and another chance. But in reality, something deep inside your Holy Ghost, your intuition told you this joker ain't changed. OK, but when you've already invested so much time into something, OK, because can I get a witness? You feel like it's hard to walk away empty handed. I've given everything and you feel like just for some some other woman to come along and benefit off of what I've sold into the situation. Listen, ladies, this is the very definition of the scripture that says talks about casting your pearls before swine. See, when you take something of great value and you give it to someone who can't appreciate it, this is what a pig for example, would do with a priceless gem. I just so happen to have a priceless gem. What would a pig do with it? <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't do that with a diamond. What are you doing? Put it right here. You display it for all to see and to appreciate. Don't bite it. What's wrong with you? But see, that's what a swine would do. See, that's the total misuse and abuse of what it is meant for, okay? See, the late great Miles Monroe, he said, when you don't understand, or when you don't understand the purpose of a thing, abuse is inevitable. Ladies, I don't care how much you try to love a man if he doesn't have the capacity to see your value, your giving is in vain. However, in contrast, a good man will invest in your happiness, not in your sorrow. Huh? In your happiness, not in your sorrow. See, when you think about investing, it involves what? You have to give something. You invest in your mutual funds, your stocks, or whatever you invest in. It's giving something. See, scripture talks about sowing into good soil. Now, you can sow into bad soil as well, okay? But when it's sown into good soil, you reap a good harvest. See, a good man can recognize a good woman, good soil, okay? So when he does it, it's like the scripture says that the, the kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field. When a man found it, he hid it again and then in his joy, went and sold all he had and bought that field. The scripture is so amazing for so many different reasons. And we're going to break it down right here. Okay. The first thing is, it says that when he noticed, okay, it, that the treasure was hidden. Okay. Here's the thing, ladies. Not every man with a pair of pants on can see the treasure in you. Your treasure is hidden. So stop it. Stop thinking that any dude sees who you are. Are you amazing? Absolutely. Can every guy see it? Absolutely not. Okay. Second thing is, it says he hid it again. Now, if it's already hidden, why would you take and hide it again? I'm going to tell you. See, when a man sees your value, a good man sees your value, he will take you off the market 
Okay, because he doesn't want someone else to have access to what he wants and what he values. Okay, so and and listen, ladies, I I don't mean these love bombing narcissists who want to marry you after two days. We ain't talking about that. That's weird. That's abnormal. And okay, we're talking about normal men wants he's going to make a commitment. All right. Exclusivity is a part of the equation because I don't want someone else to have what I love. OK. Thirdly, it says in his joy. He happy in his joy, went and sold all he had and bought it. Guess what? That means a man will a man will invest his entire heart in you and your happiness because guess what your happiness makes him what happy your joy makes him joyful all right so one of my clients just told me she said doc sent me she sent me the pictures and everything she said you know because they always send me the the ring and all of that you're right when they get proposed to but she said doc he went and rented a private yacht. You hear what I'm saying? He rented a private yacht and proposed to me. When I heard this, my heart just did backflips because this is what I know it's about. That a man, he, he could have just given her the ring. He didn't have to rent no private yacht. Why would you rent a private yacht? Because he knew that was going to put a smile on her face. He wanted her to feel special. Ladies, when I tell you there are good men out here. OK. And when I tell you she looks so happy in the picture, she couldn't even see straight. And God wants the same happiness for you. But you have to know your value to know if you are being valued. Oh, I got to say it again. You have to know your value in order to know if you are being valued. Have you been doing all the investing in your relationships? OK. Are you staying with a man who you know doesn't know your value. And are you ignoring the Holy Spirit in the beginning when he's saying, no, you saying it, mm -mm. you do not have my approval and you just go on anyway. OK, if so, you know what to do. Go to my website, ChristopherReed.org. Hit your boy up. Schedule your free 30 minute consultation. Why? So I can tell you how coaching is going to help you be ready for your good Man. Also, join me every Wednesday, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in my closed Facebook group, The Diamond Mind, where I'm talking about things that matter to you most. We have a good time in there. We do Q&A. You get to ask your questions. I'm actually giving you coaching. OK, last week we talked about most important factor in finding true love. And so many women, you don't really realize what determines your relationship success. OK, it, it, it ain't your hair. It ain't your lips. It ain't your hips. It ain't your voice. It ain't how you smell. And all those things are important. But that's not really what's going to seal the deal. So if you want to know that, go to the website. And you can join the Diamond Mine as well. Also, get my series, Why He Married Her Instead of You, where you hear men, good men, OK, that I've been talking about for the last eight minutes or so, where you hear good men telling you, hey, this is what I value. This is why I value it. This is why I'm able to see the value. OK, so if you want to see that, go to my website as well so you can get why he married her instead of you. So I'm out of here. Hey, be blessed. Enjoy yourself. Hey, life ain't got to be that hard. All right. Peace.